So we're going to start with a rectangle. And then we're going to capture the gradient that rolls across the front of the shape. Just trying to sample the, the highest and lowest colors of the gradient. going to attempt the inner glow and this is just an inner shadow and one thing to bear in mind about inner shadows is the spread value um, won't be available if you've already edited the shape so for example if we had already beveled this button then yeah we wouldn't be able to spread that inner shadow effect so it's cool to yeah get that sorted at this point If you notice, there's a highlighted stroke that runs around the outside of the button. It's probably only about like half a pixel thick. And now we're going to work on the, yeah, cutting out the edges of the button to capture that silhouette. So as you know, it's as simple as, yeah, just creating those squares or whatever shape it is that you're, you're shooting for. Just dragging them into position. And then we're essentially going to yeah, subtract those from the, the base shape. And then that will give us our silhouette that we're looking for. The bevel at the bottom is obviously a bit thicker than the top bit. I haven't done that here, but uh, feel free to do so in yours. So Boolean subtract. And then we're going to grab the pen tool and we're going to create this reflected highlight. So obviously, once again, we're simulating glass here. And yeah, these, this style of button was something I think we did back in the web 2.0 days when we were, yeah, trying to simulate, you know, that sort of a vector sort of glass reflection. It's one of the things that popped up when Apple arrived on the scene with the, I think it was the iPhone 3 or something like that. So naturally all of us who were working in web design at the time just wanted to, yeah, capture that or you know try and achieve that yeah, glass style that must have been about 13 years ago <laughs> which just baffles me because it doesn't feel like it so here we're just trying to adjust the values essentially just to give that reflected highlight there a little bit more of a, a lift as you can see, I'm not quite there at the moment. Just playing about with the inner glow values. Yeah, it looks quite nice with that little dodge. So now we're just working on the, yeah, that strong stroke that we can see running around the outer button. You'll notice that with the um, subtract, there's a, a part where the two shapes don't really overlap. So I'm just tweaking that now. And essentially you just need to bring them closer together. And then that stops the, uh, yeah, the stroke sort of expanding, you know, creating that spike that we can see. looking quite nice but I feel like I just want to add a little bit of noise to it so once again just using the trusty noise and texture plugin I'm just looking at the options and yeah trying to figure out which one will be right immediately it just adds a lot of visual interest doesn't it so I just highly recommend you know adding this type of information if you you know or detail if you you feel like you know it looks a bit too flat so working on the text so we're using Roboto at the moment 
Uh, I'm not entirely sure what their font was that they were using. Uh, I couldn't seem to yeah, figure it out and I ran it through what the font as well and it didn't come back with anything. But um, Roboto is yeah, it's, it's, it's a nice enough match. It's not quite right in terms of the way it treats the, the P, but um, it's close enough. And at the moment just adding a little drop shadow here and yeah, just uh, adjusting the transparency of that shadow. And already pretty close. So it's not too bad. So I'm just duplicating that overall shape and I'm going to start focusing on the stroke that you can see on the outside. This is relatively straightforward. spread section there um, it's currently grayed out that's because we've created that shape already so you lose the ability to you know tweak that spread later on so doing it earlier probably yeah, helps a little bit like the video please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already please subscribe it really helps the channel and i'll see you in the next video